Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Today I'm going to be packing up my 2002 Coleman Utah pop-up camper. Before I get started, I just want to mention that this video is for entertainment or reference purposes only. If you're packing up your pop-up camper, make sure that you follow all of the instructions and recommendations that came with your camper. So the first thing I want to do is pull these cushions off of the dining area. The next thing I'm going to do is fold up the table. Then I'm going to drop the table back down on the frame. Now I'm going to grab my two fatter cushions and slide those under the table. The next thing I want to do is take this top cushion off of the couch and I'll pull the couch out as if I were going to make it into a bed and slide this behind it. Then I'm going to grab the two cushions that were behind the dining table and slide those under here. Now I'm going to disengage the Velcro on either side of the door. Now I'll undo these latches at the top of the door, pivot it in. Now I'll make sure these slides are free and I'm going to slide the door up and to the back of the camper. Now I'll engage the bottom of the door to this bracket. There's two pins on the bracket that line up to holes in the door frame. And then once that's seated, I can bring this locking pin in and put it in place. And then on this side of the door, I'll just lift up on it and snap these straps into place. Now I'll swing the galley down onto the floor. Next, I'll disengage and remove the rod above each of the beds. And now I'll just tuck the rod under the mattress. Now I'll do the same thing for the side. And this rod just tucks underneath the table. Now I want to make sure these curtains aren't jammed up underneath the rod. So next, I've crawled up under the back bed and I'm actually going to lift up on the frame and then pull down on this lever to disengage it. Now I'll lift back up on the bed, grab the prop rod, slide it up, and then clip it into its clip that's on the other end of the bed. Next I'm going to disengage all these little bungee cords from these hooks that are underneath the bed frame. Now I'm going to untuck the canvas from around the corners of the bed frame and kind of leave it up above the frame a little bit. So now I can start pushing the bed frame into the camper, but as I do, I want to make sure that the canvas doesn't bunch up and get pinched in the slides over here. So as I slide the bed in, I'm going to tuck the canvas kind of up on top of it as I go to keep it from pinching in the slides. So over on the side slide, what I'm going to do now is disengage this Velcro and this snap in the middle to make sure this is loose. There's one on the other side too. So now I should be able to slide this straight in, but as I do, I'm going to make sure this canvas doesn't get pinched, just like I did on the beds. Now before I get this fully engaged, I actually want to pull up on the canvas and make sure that it's not bunched up and pinched in between the frame of this slide and the two slides that have been pushed in from the beds. Once the side is fully engaged, I can turn these handles 90 degrees and then push them in to lock them in place. So I've already disengaged my gas, but if it wasn't disengaged, I would do that now. 
And I'm also gonna unplug my electricity at this point as well. And then I'll fish the power cord back into the side of the camper where it goes. So now I'm gonna close the door and lock it in place. Now that everything's popped in and secure, it's time to lower the top. So I'm gonna grab my crank handle and put it in the receptacle and lower it down. So as I lower this down, I'm gonna stop every so often and make sure that the canvas is pushed in and not pinching on anything. So now that the top is down, I can engage these latches. So I do always have a little trouble engaging this latch because my camper is dented. One time when it was popped up, a branch from a tree fell and landed right here. So I've got to jump up on the bumper and kind of push down on this one to get it to engage. I'm going to be moving the camper to another part of my yard to store it for the winter. So the next thing I want to do is raise all of these stabilizer jacks. So I'll just use the crank handle I used to lower the top and crank these jacks up. So now I'm ready to hook up the Suburban and move this thing to the other side of the yard for the winter. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to learn more about my channel, check the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.